Okay, good morning boys and gals. <laughs> uh, it's the third day of the festival. Um, it's been a hard festival for me really in the sense that I've had two good weights but not nowhere in the sections. I've had £20 and £30. So um, anyway, uh, I was one of the first in the draw again and uh, anyway, um, I was in C section which consists of the uh, tennis courts and also the um, Asda bank. Now, um, all the pegs are pretty good. There's a couple of pegs I wanted to avoid. One was 97 um, and maybe 88 with no platform. Uh, anyway, I've drawn <laughs> and I've drawn the tennis courts. Unfortunately, not low enough, uh, 98. But looking at the swim, I've just arrived, you know, looking at the swim, it's looking quite good. Um, it's a big slack there. Uh, probably bleak, <laughs> but I'm not going for them today. It's not that. I'm just going to fish um, probably a, a bolly and a, maybe a whip or something, a pole to hand or something. Um, have a look at the swim anyway. Tell me what you think. There you go. Peg not yet. Um, <clears throat> generally, the, the better weights have been coming down from like, you know, 100, um, well, 99, 100, 101. But I'm not complaining, you know. Um, there's a one or two fish topping down the bottom of the swim. I'll have a nice steady day today. I, don't, um, I can't see me uh, having a fish fest. Um, pretty close to the water down there. Um, not much I can say really. I've never fished this peg actually uh, before um, I know when it's up it's a good peg because um, uh, a lot of the pegs are unfishable and this one is, still is fishable but as it is today now um, yeah, anyway uh, you know I don't want, want to be too optimistic but I, I know that there is a lot of fish on the tennis courts uh, as they travel up to Belmont for the winter so there are See, so there's a fish, a few fish topping down the bottom. Okay, no further ado. Uh, I'll get my tackle out. I'm going to uh, fish. Um, well, I'm nice and early, so I'll, I'll probably, probably set up a couple of uh, a couple of rods, you know, bolly rods, and big stick or something. So I don't get pestered by bleak. <laughs> okay, right. I'll catch you in a minute as soon as I'm ready to start. Is it? Are you? How's it going? What weight you got? Have you? Nice. Uh, Scott's catching the bloke below you. Yeah. They're doing all right. Yeah.
Yeah, it was a nice fish, that. Have you had any roach? About big perch. No. no. I haven't, I haven't been upstream, only uh, downstream. I'd have thought so, wouldn't you? I would have thought they were. Okay, the match is over. Um, what can I say? Um, I've had a, well, quite a decent day. Um, first of all, I sat on the bolly, then um, I switch to the pole to hand and then the last sort of uh, half hour I went back on the bolly because um, I hooked two bloody big fish on that pole and they just uh, well, no chance it just snapped me like you know just took me so I went on the bolly just in case I, I hooked another one and I didn't I just kept catching the taste like you know so you know oh well, well no quite a good match um, I know it's caught below me well they've, they've all caught in this section so Depends who's done the best, really, you know. Okay, well, um, we got two keep nets out. <laughs> uh, I don't know why, but you know, you never know. Um, so I'll do some weighing in a minute, and let's uh, let's see how I let's see how I get on today. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna uh, film the weighing. Some good should be some good weights on here. Oh, yeah. Do you want me to? Yeah. Takes takes two of them to lift it. That's a good net. Well done, Dave. That's a good uh, good net to fish there. Eh? On the stick. So you have 55 on the end peg, but uh, apparently this uh, lad above him has had more, so we'll see. More than 50 pounds. You need He's a strong lad. <laughs> Do you want a forty nine pound nine? Forty one eight. What's that forty one eight? Yeah, forty one eight. <coughs> Close to 60 pounds. <laughs> 33, 8. Well done. 75. Yeah. Yeah, if you want to go on a little bit. 75 dead, well done. Oh, another good reach. About 40 pound, maybe. Don't just quite 50. 75. Yeah. Yeah.
Go to where you've got your life. Oh, bye bye. You've got your life. Oh, bye bye. Hold on a bit, Clive. Yeah. Just wait, you ain't got the net yet, mate. I got another net on it. Only wide one net. But thanks for coming. More in the other net. What was that? Thirty two. Okay, they were in fifty-three pound. Um, yeah, they said there was a seventy yard and a, and a fifty-five, so I just got beat uh, the second spot. Um, have you? Uh, there's a sixty-two pound up in the town. Um, that's about it. So I might make the sort of frame today. Um, or I may not. I don't know. Anyway, uh, what can I say? It's been a good festival. Um, again, you need to draw. You know, reasonably well each each um, each day, uh, and then you're going to obviously catch some fish. Uh, unfortunately, it's not what my festival this year, um, but uh, I'll try and come back again next year. All being well. Um, if I go back, I'll do the presentation. If I uh, don't go back, then um, 
I'll see you on the next next match. Okay, thanks for watching. The way room, we just have all their support, and, I, and, I, and I'm blown away by people who give their time up, even though they're not even fishing the match. Like Tony, like the guys, Dave Beanie, Mark Doherty have done the weighing in and all that stuff. Uh, so for those guys, I'm truly grateful. Thank you. Um, so the first thing we'll do is the, uh, the race safe memorial team of three. Now, as I said on the first morning, you know, this is purely about a way of remembering people who are no longer here. And um, I said the fact that we've got three regular anglers who aren't here or are not fishing this year because they're undergoing cancer treatment and various things. I think that hits home and just tells us where we're at. You know, this is this is this year. It's not life or death. So. Um, and the best way we remember these people is by doing something every year, and we'll always do that. Um, so we run this random teams of three, no one knew which teams they were in until about an hour ago. Um, <coughs> and so we've got the results. And um, so we, we paid two money, I said this money was donated by Ray South's family, uh, 500 pounds, so we split it with 300 pounds, 200 pounds, first and second place. Um, and it, like I say, it's a great way to remember. So, um, the, the runner, runners up, uh, or the team finishing in second place um, was a team with, I don't know what uh, team points they have, was 28. 28 penalty points. And that team consisted of Rob Brennan, Joe Holloway, and Nigel Martin. He's gone home, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, no, he's coming. Someone standing because Rob look alike. Rob look alike. you could ever wish to meet uh, a team with a penalty points of 23, consisting of Martin Challenger, Hadrian Whittle, and Nigel Garrett. <laughs> 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 Take one over ten minutes. Oh, that's good. 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 So, on to the main prizes. So, to the sections, have to finish first. Uh, so, day one, zone A, takes two to 12, with a weight of £35.5, was Pat Adams. <laughs> zone A, pegs 14 to 22, with a weight of £36.9, was Craig Hout. And your 10 peg section winner with a weight of 37 pounds 12 ounces was Mark Lindsay. Pegs uh, 24 to 36, 5 peg section winner with a weight of 35 pounds 12 was Ryan Knox. X38 to 45 with a weight of 34 pounds 7 ounces was Dangerous Dougie Forshoe. And your 10 peg section winner 24 to 45 with a weight of 42 pounds 2 ounces was Rory Jones. <laughs> uh, so zone B, what pegs 46 to 51 with a weight of 30 pounds 10 ounces was Matt Derry. Oh, oh. put it on Hadrian Park. Uh, <laughs> pegs 73 to 77 with a weight of 30 pounds 14 ounces was Joe Holloway. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and 
the attempt peg section 46 to 77 with a weight of 30 pounds 15 ounces was Nigel Evans. Next uh, 55 to 59 with a weight of 17 pound eight was uh, Paul Johnson. Five with twenty-seven pounds. Ed was Chris Jones. Yeah. Yeah. The ten peg section winner fifty-five sixty-five with a weight of thirty pound two was Jim Brocky. Jim Brocky. Yeah. Yeah. Zone C uh, five peg <laughs> pegs seventy-nine to eighty-three with fifteen pound eight ounces with Lee Edwards. Uh, 84 to 89 with a weight of 28 pound 2 was jo Jordan Holloway. <coughs> and your 10 peg section winner, 79 to 89 with 29 pound 2 was Nigel Marchington. <laughs> Pegs 91 to 95 with 15 pound 2 was Terry Parrott. <laughs> 97 to 101 uh, with a weight of 22 pound 15 was Nigel Garrett. <laughs> the 10 peg section winner 90, 91 to 101 with 27 pound 8 was Dan Ashington. <laughs> And your overall winner on day one with a weight of £42.4 was Hadrian Whittle. Two section wins an aggregate weight of 135.5 was Hereford Spines Dave Roberts. <laughs> Fourth with six points, one section win and a weight of 107.10 was Spud Murphy. <laughs> Six points with two section wins and a weight of 103 pounds five was Nigel Evans. Oh, oh I guess trophy. Oh, we just missed that also. So you run her up uh, this year with. Uh, Five points, one section win, and a total weight of 133 pounds, 10 ounces with Rory Jones. Well done, Rory. Well done. Well done. Uh, and your champion for 2022 with four points, two section wins, and overall weight of 139 pounds, eight ounces was Adrian Wilson. Well